Welcome back, everybody. My name is Ardog with the Triple G's. I am back with Toasty and Lakeinator. What a spectacular show by both teams. I am shook right now. We have six Seismic, Dare, Pablo, and North on Team Royalty, and Team Immune having Empty, Ray, Iroar twice, Tang, and Nept. Wow, what a close, close, spicy game. Lakeinator, what stood out the most to you when you were watching that match? Well, I heard you say a lot of Royalty team members, but all I heard was North, 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 <laughs> North, and I think North. That guy, oh my god, he was putting on a show that he was winning 4v5s, he was two levels up on Tang, I don't know. If it ain't, if North didn't do it, I, I don't know who did. Ugh, oh North had gosh. so many good plays that game, it was insane. And then seeing Pablo somehow get two levels up on Neft, I'm pretty sure in EU that's unheard of to get ahead that far on Neft. So that was insane. I would say maybe Pablo's position was a bit iffy at times, but his team and or North pulled up and it was it was insane to see how much they pulled through. North was a beefy, beefy, strong Severog. You know, watching that offlane matchup, Tang versus North, Crunch versus that Severog, uh, first they were bashing each other, then they killed each other, hashtag worth as per TJ, <laughs> Bang goes down, mini prime steal by North, sweating because I was. Oh my gosh, Toasty, what are your thoughts? What did you think about that last game? Were you also thinking North? I'm thinking North. A little bit of Seismic, a little bit of Pablo in there as well. <laughs> North completely yeah. 180 from last game. His positioning is way better. He's way more of a threat. And uh, Immune, just they just folded. They folded under the pressure of North Severog. Yeah, and this doesn't happen very often to Team Immune. You know, we remember Team Immune as the winners of our previous PCC tournament, right? And despite the pain, they still won it all. But who wins these, this series right now will go to the finals to see who can win and be a part of that $1,000 prize. Um, but I know you guys are stoked to see what what the this next game will be like. Uh, Lakeinator, who do you think will be the bands from Team Immune, or and and or who will be the bands from Team Royalty? Uh, I think Team Immune might ban the Severok here. It's been like sure game one is a bit iffy, but game two it was a whole another threat, and they keep putting Tang on that crunch, and it cannot stop North Severok. No matter no matter how hard he tries. He gets to that late game where Crunch doesn't impact him anymore and he has free reign. But then again, we may see the Clary ban because, you know, Six creates that pressure, gets free assassinations, can move around the map however he feels. So we'll see how and, they react. And there it is. There's that Kalari ban from Team Immune and the Royalty ban on Gadget. Oh my goodness. And we see the Severog again. Um, how much money to bet uh, that that's going to be uh, North right there on that Severog once again. Um, what do you what are you thinking right now, Toasty? What do you think of this this North pick Severog again going into game three? I think he's got it figured out now. He he skipped the world breaker on the second game. He went more tanky. He was more of a menace on the front line. And um Mune's draft was not very tanky at all last game and they didn't have an answer for it. So I'm thinking maybe they're going to work around more CC and more damage to keep North off of their carries. And here we go. We have Rampage actually secured for Team Royalty instead of Team Immune this time. I'm actually curious who will be the jungler from Team Immune's side. Uh, we have a Steel Decker Gideon picks so far from Team Immune. On top of that, we've got a Shinbi. Team Royalty picking Sevrog, Rampage, Bellica, CC City once more, uh, Lakeinator, any thoughts on this current, the current picks right now? Uh, I'm, I'm, I, I'm excited to see the Shimby pick. It could be in the off lane or jungle. I'm a big Shimby jungle fan. It's the fact that she can build super tanky and still dish out a lot of damage as well as be as mobile as a clary she has that double dash on a very low cooldown she can weave in and out in team fights and just win through attrition it is really strong tank shimby when you get her online to the late game how much damage and how beefy she is so i'm very excited to see where things go 
do you think this will be the game changer for Team Immune, um, having that Shinbi pick Toasty? I think Shinbi does pretty good into Severog. She can stay on the back line for free. She has a crazy amount of damage. She's hard to deal with. So if she can distract at least two or three people on their team, then it's it's all over for them. Yeah, and we so you're you're leaning towards Shinbi versus Sevrog instead of um, having Shinbi as the jungler. Are you a fan of the Shinbi jungle, Toasty? I love Shinbi jungle. It's it's so annoying to play against. It drives me insane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, what are you thinking right now, uh, Lakeinator, about the current pick? So we have Royalty locking down Sevrog, Rampage, Falica, Howitzer, and the Revenant once again, and then Team Immune locking down Decker, Gideon. Shinbi, and Murdoch. It's, Lakin. it's, I, I'm gonna have to go with, like, I'm looking at the comps, and once again, Rev's here. Rev, once again, is really good into a tankless team. They have a Steel as their only tank, and it looks like Steel, uh, Steel Solo, or maybe Jungle, depends on where they put it. So I feel like, that once again, this is actually a great position to be Rev, once again. And then I'm looking at, um, the Rampage pick and the Howitzer pick. Maybe it's six mid in the Howie again, who knows? <laughs> yeah, who knows? Maybe they're gonna, you know, they were playing spicy last game. Maybe they want to play spicy again. Um, what does Team Immune need to do in order to win this last game, Toasty? They need to stop Severog from being an absolute unit. They need to keep him even or behind, and then they need to focus more on their carry getting ahead. If Rev, if Rev cannot get ahead, he cannot win the game. So hashtag stop Pablo is what you're saying. All right, yeah. I want to watch this. We want to watch this. Let's head over to TJ and Geronimo Chick. Okay, it looks like we've got a few issues with Jack's microphone. So, oh, happy to jump in here. Set uh, game number three in a best of three for the semifinals. It's going to be so hype. Thank you so much uh, to Ardark, Toasty, and Lakinator on the desk here. Uh, Jack, are you with us, my friends? I'm I'm back. Hell yeah, let's go. I'm just my mouse decided to die at the last possible second, <laughs> and I couldn't find where my cursor was to unmute myself. But, you know, say levy, things do happen. We are seeing right out of the gate, the teams just, they don't even care anymore. They're just going straight for the fight, right at each other. Now you get an invasion, just meeting directly center of the river. We're, the time this... for respect is over, Jack. <laughs> the time for violence is now, and I love to see it. And they're just like, will we even see some farm? We are seeing Dare to Care on the Howitzer support this time. Uh, very interesting pick that comes out every so often and usually when it does it means someone's trying to be a little spicy because howitzer has the cc of a support but the damage of the mid lane yeah it's kind of a, a very akin to the bellica in the support right you're more just relying purely on the kits and also with like the supporting guys you can see why um this house can be so deadly like that landmine just took a quite a, a sizable chunk out of Ness hp and uh, this just plays really well into how a uh, royalty's duo lane wants to take this one because this calls back to game number one is it was their duo um duo side winning out on the pressure wars they didn't get the level two in that question it might still go to neft and ray i'm not really sure on who's gonna go it's gonna be close here at least but uh the house is a ball. I'm not convinced, but I I, I am open minded at least. No, oh, once you so like how is her support aside from Bellica? Bellica was the first mage support, and there it is. That's the mine going down, knocking out Ray, who has wow. to fly back with the blink. He's oh, absolutely yeah? being pressured. This is a kill lane, truly yeah. 100. percent That's all you're seeing here. As I was just about to say, Bellica is the first mage support, but how is there's the first poke support? And that's the way to put it. And luckily, he just happens to have a lot of slows, a lot of peel, a lot of ways to keep himself and his carry alive. But he can dish out the damage like no one else. Oh, for sure. Like that R2000 rocket as well. Like, I feel oh, I that the game plan from Royalty here is keep Neft and Ray underneath this tier one tower. So just make the. Uh, 
they probably feel confident as well. Probably uh, Six is going to be having to do a real good job of uh, monitoring where Raw Twice is as well. That's going to be on the steel, but already they're going in. You can see the double jump passive coming out from Ray, getting a nice amount of, of decent trade down, but Neff still has lower HP than Pablo at least. But uh, already, you see, there was an invade in the jungle, and uh, Raw, Tw Raw Twice might be in trouble. The steel jungle is going to create a different dynamic for the game. There's going to be a better team fight, but at the same time, Rampage is able to just invade as we are seeing. Ooh, MC so having step. to portal out the follow up through Seismic as he's ready to land the bomb. Maybe he can get the knock up and a follow up for further damage, but they are going to choose to disengage on that one, not press it any further. As the fight for the gold buff does go down, Steel following up for Team Immune and allowing that extra pressure to secure the objective, forcing Dare to Care to oh, back. Six on that. Rampage in the side of the jungle, just preparing and getting ready, seeing what he can do for the team. And he's gonna jump in. There's Nep going down. Ray with no health as Pablo going in. Can't get the last shot out. He's forced to reload. Ray able to live once again, just barely. Roar twice following up, doing what he can to provide a little bit of peel. However, his oh teammate job. is safe and he's able to get out as well. So overall, nice even trade for both teams. Um, we are seeing a 1-0 advantage as Pablo is going to do what he can to try and secure those threes or apply some pressure onto the steel. He's going to go back and clear the wave. We should see him back soon, hopefully. He is a little overextended and under you know, like no mana, no health. He needs to go. Yeah, but I mean, De Death Guy is still around at least to dissuade any further egress. I mean, no. Ray and Neff still sticking around. I think they might have an idea where Pablo is. He looks like he will get the recall off just in time. Ray having a bit of a horror movie moment there, just peeking around the corner and the character just instantly goes, but gets away with... That was a risky bat. That was a heart-in-mouth moment there, because I think if Pablo was just a fraction of a second uh, late or just channels the recall just slightly earlier, yeah, he's going to be caught out there. And as you say, no health, no mana. Uh, that would have been uh, just an unforced oh error here, but he gets away with it at least, and uh, we get an opportunity, Jack, to talk about uh, the Shinbi making her first appearance here in the main event. I'm very, very surprised that they were able to let they just let Norm have that rock again. They just didn't secure it away from him right away because he was the deciding factor of last game. As we saw her death, North, 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 North. That's pretty much that's verbatim what they said. Hmm. Um, but we are seeing Six preparing himself in the side, just off in the fog wall, waiting. Tang going to push up. He might run into something he might not want to actually find out what it is. And that could be a big, burly rock man. Yeah, it's it's very much, once again, we're back to kind of this... Uh, well, I, apart from the early, uh, the early aggression, we've gone back to relatively stable lane states here. MT, uh, and just being zoned out of his own mid lane as well as uh, Seismic. I mean, we, we you said about uh, North getting the Severog. I think Seismic getting Belica again is uh, is another question mark above my head. But in, in the current state at the moment, you know, you've only got one bad and there's so many good picks you could take away. But it looks like Tang already rotating over towards the mid lane, but Seismic is able to sniff that one out and gets from the tower. They're looking to secure prior for the river buffs, I believe. Empty diving in right now. He Ooh. has the ultimate. He's going Roll to do it. Twice. Roll twice. He's not able to follow up. He's too high up in the air. That's what Paragon and Predecessor is all about. Like the verticality. Oh you could dash through anything and it won't matter. Just able to follow up. Um, mm. Secure the kill on Seismic. Take him out. And now they are going to be able to get both river buffs in favor of Immune. Yeah, nice uh, swing of momentum here, but Six is still looming around here at least. So I think he's waiting for Empty to possibly face check the river buff, as you say. I think um, a player who's less disciplined would say like, right, cool, yeah, I got the, ki uh, the kill in mid lane. I know where the jungler is. Uh, I, I know where my jungler is. Both river buffs. I'm just going to drop down and take this buff, and Six is just there waiting for him. But uh, I think, you know, when you are at this point, match point in a best of three, a spot in the grand finals on the line, lazy recalling or just face checking a jungle is not something that you want to be doing at least so a nice bit of restraint for sure here but uh team Mini royalty going back to uh, a relatively you know stable state once again yeah we are seeing the teams reset starting to get their first items in and doing what they can to extend the leads that they have 
Um, I believe the CS count should be dead even if we can get a nice chuck. Yeah, we are dead even for the third game in mm -hmm. a row on our minion counter. Uh, we are seeing six go towards the rest of his overlord. Roar twice on the steel jungle. Steel jungle having next to no clear, forced to buy the brimstone, even though um, fire blossom is not exactly an item that's really in favor right now for a lot of people. When you have the jungle clear of a steel, you're forced to do it. It's what it's there for. Yeah. It's a, I feel like that's just the common trade-off with how uh, good, how flexible steel can be in these roles. It's like you can't give him amazing clear as well. So, you know, oh having God. to pay the brimstone tax, essentially, just to really keep up here. Meanwhile, though, uh, on over towards the Fang Tooth side, there to care, just uh, having a poke wall here, but uh, Team oh Immune starting Fang Tooth up once again. Six running in, doing what he can, position himself in the back, but he's going to be revealed by the sweeper just... The, the particle effect for it is so present. Empty now having to blink out, not even dash, as six follows up over the wall, and he's going to provide the spacing his team needs to just jump on the Fang Tooth right now. Empty looking around, Roar Twice there. They're choosing not to go in, and that's going to be the Raptor stolen away from Team Immune in favor of Team Royalty. Royalty once again not letting the other team get away with anything. It's going to be a tit for tat, throw for throw, punch for punch kind of game once again. I mean, I respect Team Immune for attempting that at least. You know, they've got they thought they could maybe catch on on the rotation, <laughs> but this is the the problem that Raw Twice was in is that you know he's had two games on this rampage where it's like whenever your health goes low, oh, I just press the ultimate button, go into the Bayam off, and all of a sudden you're a big tanky boy with a lot more HP and you can still keep that fight going, but. So what happened, he went a little bit low, and actually, you know, Neff might be in a bit of trouble, but Ray oh is here to Lord. play Bodyguard. That's a blink. And that's going to be Dare to Care trying to 1v1 Neft, but Ray, as you said, there to follow up and provide the secure um, to make sure Neft stays alive. Dare to Care almost actually going down in that fight as he gets stuck mm. in the Decker cage. He was forced to blink away, so that's a five-minute cooldown for the Howitzer, and that's something he needs. You're a, you're a kill lane. You need your kit up as much as possible and that's a nice little bm decker ball coming from across the map they're gonna have to give up the gold buff to team immune and looking on um, the i mean right if now. you recall in front of your tower when playing against a decker you you, you just deserve that I'm, I'm not gonna lie it is bm but you you get what you deserve at that point it's just the stasis bomb to the face and yeah just that gold buff is gonna feel nice but you know i still feel that royalty still have the control of this game at least and now it's on team immune to find an opportunity I think that's why they wanted to take that Fang Tooth, maybe go for the fight, but the limitations of Raw Twice on that Steel Jungle coming to haunt them at least. But now we've got rotation support in the mid lane. And it's going to be a big fight as Empty and Raw Twice follow up and Ooh. get the kill onto Bellic. A seismic going down. Dare to care, having to burn his ultimate to get a little bit of peel and try and get away. He's able to get to safety, but it's now the mini prime that's up for grabs in favor of Team like Immune. That. They saw what happened last game, and now it's their turn. You know, we're, we're the team champions, we're the tournament champions. We're not going down whatsoever. Empty now following up on North, doing what he can to provide a little bit of pressure, using that gray buff to get that extra bit of attack speed. No one rotating onto Orb Prime just yet. I believe we might see uh, 100 Thieves take advantage of the back that's going on. North going oh, in, Tang's going in to problem. miss the subjugate as Tang getting knocked back. Oh, he not interrupted the, the dash. He does have room for the ultimate. He's just going straight through. Immune's tower looking for a little bit of a Benny oh, Hill the pincer. Just trying to get out as much as he can, buy as much as he can for the team. There's oh, the, the boulder and the boulder oh. coming out of uh, 100 Thieves 6 oh, as he's going to do what he can to secure it. Tang's still running away, and this is what we meant when Toasty said that champion is annoying as all hell. You can chase <laughs> her across the map at 10 HP, and it's going to take you forever to get that. You'll still get the kill, but my lord, will you waste your time doing so, and you'll have to waste so many abilities. Now is Lord Twice getting hit by Seismic from the knockup and the combustion, and two Bellica bombs, the drone going out to provide a little bit of a zoning tool in favor of 100 Thieves, um, in favor of Royalty. And they're now rotating over to the Mini Prime to secure what they can. I believe they should be able to get it. 13 minutes is going to be Mini Prime in favor 
of royalty once again this, this game 10 cs difference that's all it is we're two 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 across the board for kills deaths and assists this game's gonna get bloody really quickly in my opinion Oh, it's just waiting for that haymaker punch. But right now, it's royalty the most likely to find it. Team Immune just kind of been reeling from this early barrage from royalty. They've really started the mid-game stage of predecessor a lot brighter as well. And uh, even on the rotation, it's like because they took the Fang Tooth, there was nothing for Team Immune to answer back on the left-hand side. And that was just a free pick onto Tang. But now Raw Twice, you know, has got the levels, has got the ultimate available, wanting to get this duo lane going. But Pablo and Dare just sit under their tower. They know that the steel is here and they just wait for reinforcements. But they're over on the right-hand side, at least trying to take down the tier one tower. Team Immune really need to push the go button and Raw Twice is gonna do that. And he's going to miss the ultimate. The shield slam does not land onto the Revenant. However, Revenant's gonna bring him into the Nether Realm and do what he can to get the damage off. It's just fight after fight as Ray oh, goes in, bringing down the orbital laser. Empty. That's gonna be a big amount of damage, taking down Revenant. Pablo is going down, subject coming no. in from North as his team is trying to get away. North is running through, popping the razor back. Roar twice, trying to oh, apply God. whatever. Oh, the landmine. The net. It's not gonna be enough. The shield wall comes out, stopping the R2000. As Here they come. Rampage coming in with the ultimate in big mode just completely running down he's gonna throw the rock he's gonna miss it onto net but net still oh, going good. down nice bull rush the tower's still up providing whatever he can however those super minions are not going to be stopped they're going to just walk away that is a nice big pickup four to three in favor of team royalty at this time and just the teams one after fight every time we have a second to just stop and talk about the last fight there's already another fight happening on the screen there's no breaks happening in this game whatsoever well i think for royalty they can't allow a break to happen they need to keep this momentum going it's, you saw in that duo lane side that the low the health bars were low tang was split pushing the right hand side the it was a gutsy call by royalty to get north over towards the duo side making their presence known very close at least so uh, you saw how low the health bars on royalty went but uh, you know they were able to at least take down the priority members uh so you know neff was down empty for he did find a kill at least but able to win the team fight that's what mattered immediate uh, trans uh transition oh in towards the fang tube as well and north is just a raid boss right now roaming around the map empty is the target gonna get subjugated ray doing what they can at least but the gideon is running into some problems as they're gonna go retreat into the jungle they're burning every ultimate they can to keep severog off of the keep gideon. empty Not alive but no empty cannot stay alive the subjugate going to get the siphon stacks in favor of north once again the absolute giga chad of a champion is severog they burned every ultimate at their disposal. They burned every ability, and even empty the last second, just burning the last, burning the black oh hole, just God. to do Destroy. any amount of damage to provide yeah. some form of just, you know, deterrent for himself. It doesn't matter. North doesn't care. He's gonna punch that W key across the floor and <laughs> just like straight through the desk. Boom. He's going. Yeah, new, new keyboard uh, for North coming up. Let's get that one trending in chat at least. <laughs> Wow, just you can. This was it was highlighted, and we see a prime example. North gets Severog three games in a row. Severog has been for the longest time uh, near enough an instant ban as well. It's like you either ban it or you first pick it. You just don't give it away for free. They did find an answer in the gadgets as well, which is uh, surprising to me. You know, Team Immune opting to go for the Shinbi into it as well, which I feel is more from you know players stepping up we saw this from six earlier taking the kalari knowing this is match points and now you had like tang saying give me the shinbi but neff is in a world of pain but reinforcements are here again an empty following up just to provide a bit of a zone off he's in the right place at the right time as he dashes forward behind dare to care getting the black hole walk while also catching the revenant pablo uh inside of it securing a double kill for oh, tang's his game. Here. And that's going to be Tang oh, trying to apply whatever pressure he can. North at about a quarter HP now as he tries to get away. Neff rotating into the mid lane as well to join the team fight. We are going to see the deck kids come down onto Seismic. Oh, good size deck. Being blown through as he's going to miss. But Neff 
the god coming in now forcing six to hit his ultimate and try and jump away behemoth being burned down and what's coming up next you are seeing another mini prime possibly just before the uh orb prime full prime spawns this does give the team chance to the chance to clear vision and create the next space for the next fight however the fight is already breaking out dj we are seeing it happen again god just a team immune hit and really needed to recall you saw ray did get it off at least but the eyes are going to be on the fang tooth but six wants to take down raw twice but actually just instantly hit by the stasis bomb in a containment phase as well and has to watch for the tiers one tower will drop at least a team immune don't give away any kills that that tier one was so low anyway it was no way they were able to protect it for much longer here and this is what team immune need to do they did find an opportunity a good collapse onto the duo side get some kills get some xp and they didn't over punish as well i would have liked to see them be a bit more clinical in that regard like they did there was some recalls coming in quite late they were looking for another pick and realized a little bit too late they weren't able to find one and the recalls came out and that might have been running into a bit of bother at least but uh, i could just see a low health bar on left on the left hand side as action once again starts to happen pablo wazowski just trying to one v one nap and managed to take him out but all three lanes oh the boulder break out as the boulder does secure the kill down onto um tang north had shinby's ultimate on top of him the spotlight was there however the damage wasn't able to stack through uh we haven't even talked about builds at all this game the fight has been happening so much but north actually has the void helm to stop any yep. amount of damage that tang could do despite tang having both a megacosm and the tainted guard tj it's Tanks still is, yeah. going to just oh rod twice like, went in for the mini prime match yeah, no, this is exactly what you're talking about, Jack. I want to talk about items, but fights just want to happen. You saw Raw twice uh, going down. Team Immune facing a two-kill deficit at least. A nice knock up onto Empty as well as an eight next target, CC City. But it's coming for Royalty this time, and they're able to pick off the mid lane rain full retreat. Royalty picking off two members. Royalty just completely ready to win this game. They see money in their eyes. Mm. They see dominance. They don't want to go down without a fight. And you know what? They say immune who? We can do it. Everyone believes in them. The entire Twitch chat, for the most part, anyone in NA at least, is just cheering them on saying, bring it back to NA. EU supremacy doesn't mean anything to these people. Uh, the call's not gone down yet, so um, <laughs> I'll wait on that one until I see uh, which members, well, which core drops at least. But yeah, Royalty really wrapping the banner for the NA region. And, you know, this is Team Immune have been so dominant for so long. It's, it's got to be feel good to know that even gods can bleed at this point. But they're staring down the barrel of a set loss. Raw twice just gets picked off outside the Fang Tooth pit once again. The split pushing going on, but Royalty just death balling around and they're really leveraging this lead. These towers just crumble before them and Team Immune needs to start preparing for some force of siege defenses. It's absolutely wild what's going on. They are able to take a tier two in the left lane. So that is a nice, you know, bit of a handshake, a bit of a compensation for what's been going on so far. They are noticing they aren't winning this team fights they want to. So they're starting to change their strategy a little bit. However, it's not working out as Tang is now caught in the jungle with Dare to Care and a Severog between him. Shinbi is elusive. She might be able to get out Howitzer's big ultimate, make it rain, dropping that's down. Dodge However, that's dodging every ability possible. Black Hole coming out is oh, going empty. to not matter as Empty getting picked up once again. Game one was single file conga line deaths. Game three, we're seeing that in the other direction as 100 C6 goes in now, jumping on top of Immune's head. Behemoth going to absolutely just swallow Tang whole. And they're going to run down the enemy mid lane, taking that T2 in the mid lane, using that mini prime. And the nice thing now is 100 Thieves 6 still has mini prime. However, they can rotate over to the big prime and those two buffs will stack if he still has it. And that is absolutely insane power spikes. For sure. And, you know, looking even further beyond that, you've got the um pr the primal fang tooth as well to look forward in a couple of minutes but yeah all prime is the name of the game you see the wards being dropped down the preparation it's all in favor of royalty they've set this up perfectly they just need to execute 
They have been, you know, this game has been very clean from them. It's a, a big departure, actually, from the mistakes that came out at this point in game number one. And it's uh, it's all on Team Immune to try and claw back into this game, at least. They need to prepare for Siege. But uh, right now, you know, Team Immune just looking at their position on the map. They've not been able to find a five versus five. It's actually been a five versus two, five versus three. And that's on royalty. You know, they've got Team Immune's number here. So let's see where the experience can come from to try and find something back because North is still being a menace. And he's just absolutely going in 1v2. It doesn't matter. Knocking away the decker towards Pablo Wazowski, who's going to chunk out the damage. Subjugate landing on two. North following up with the siphon stack. They're now jumping onto Tang, both Rampage and Severov. Tang is going to be elusive. However, they are going to turn their focus on to Roar twice. Steel having to dash away. The jungle no longer belongs oh, to Team Immune. Boulder. And that is going to be them running it down, seeing what they can do, pushing the enemy team out of the jungle. It's royalty with full priority. They're going to go straight over to the orb prime and start doing what they can. They're looking to get a pick if possible, as Tang seeing if they are able out. The rock does get thrown. It's not going to land. And we are seeing another fight go on in the mid lane. It's constant fighting, TJ. Oh, Empty just went through the mid lane, tried to get involved over at the prime pit, Neff having to blink away. But the members of Royalty, once again, they just turned and burned through the mid lane. He was threw down the black hole, tried to get just a little bit more damage down. If you're going to die as a mid laner, you may as well pop the ult. You may as well try and get something down at least, trying to dissuade. But I will give credit at least for Team Immune. Previously to this one, they only lost the support, but you did have empty split pushing on the left hand side, trying to get more of that gold. Neff was doing the same as well. These members still trying to keep in it, but for now, royalty, the momentum is all there. This is, I'm going to say, this is their game to lose at this point, and Team Immune will need You're to find something it. big there. You're I'm, I'm throwing it out there, there. royalty. Uh, royalty have six. got NA believing at this point. Immune have got, had no response throughout this entire game, but Royalty need to close it out. They need to take down that core and secure themselves a spot in that Grand Finals. If not for themselves, for NA at this point. And, uh, you know, watching my EU boys in this situation, it hurts. But man, is this such a good set and what a fight at least. But no, there's still fight left in them. These cores have not been taken down, Jack. You'd think we'd be in finals with how this game is actually playing out. This is this is probably one of the best games. I said it last time I watched Royalty play the game, and they they ended up not coming out. But one of the best sets of play, uh, predecessor that we've seen so far. Uh, people now looking to fight over the Fangtooth. That third Fangtooth going in favor of Royalty. Ray trying to throw out the Decker stun. Not going to land. Going to bounce off the wall. They are going to just pick it up for free no contention empty now dashing oh, forward trying to do what they can to pick up a kill neft going wait, down wait, in neft? The what i don't know what he was thinking there tj but my lord it wasn't the right thing at that time i was about to note that uh, team immune just kind of surrounding members of royalty but we've seen throughout this game that when they send one person alone, they just go in. But immune, they have to find a fight. So you see the black hole coming down to make it rain as well. But empty drops down a good blink away. Tang in and amongst the front line is trying to get some return damage down. But losing Neff is such a big play because this team fight is going to go on. But health bar starting to drop low. But immunes are dropping more as members start to fall. Big colossal blow in towards members. And royalty are happy to take these fights they're gonna find four in the mid lane they kill neft the only thing that's left for them is magic damage and that's the only thing north has been building against he has the flux matrix now he's got the void helm and he is just sit there sitting there and ready to absorb whatever damage the gideon steel decker and shinby is able to and willing to put out of them quite literally neft is the only physical damage available on team of you so it makes complete sense to just build as much magic as possible. Steel oh, might do a nerf. Oh, nerf. Oh, nerf. Oh, no health bars. Yeah, he's trying. Now or never, my friend. 
trying to play here. Mode Ray going in, getting hit by the rock. There's the dare to, there's dare to care with the Howie Mine and the no. Oh, they got him! Now he's going to take out Ness. They had no health. That could have been Ness' hero moment, but they are able to just secure the kill, use the primal thing, and now rotate across the map. Prime is up once again. They take their backs, running straight to the next objective. We could see the end of the game and the fall of the current PCC champions right here, DJ. The commitment to the storyline, I've got to keep up the hype here, royalty. As I said, when we saw this team in the group stages, there were whispers, there were rumblings of these as a real deal. I think this is where they make their moment to leave their stamp on the competitive scene, at least, and what a way to do it. Potentially Looking taking in. down Team Immune, the, the current reigning champions. You know, look for it. And with picks like that, it's going to really help because MT's in trouble. Once again, empty in trouble, and he's doing whatever damage he can, but there's so much magic resistance on the enemy team. He just does not. Look at that. North's not even taking damage to a full Shimbi ultimate, and then just turning around and pressing Q to kill him for his whole health bar. This is this is it. The, the draft did not work out in Team Immune's favor, as we're seeing here right now. They're going to get the Orb Prime as soon as they can. I believe we actually have a disconnect from Dare to Care right now. Oh, man. Uh, so this could oh, be no. the turnaround. Oh, no. Not like this. Okay, not like not this. Like this. <sighs> oh, my God. Hold on. I'm going to see if I can find. Is there a confirmed DC? In... Can we get a confirmed DC in the uh, in production side? Because that's what we're seeing right now. Yeah, we do have a DC coming from Dare to Care doing what he can. We are way past the point of reconnects and remakes. This could just be it. As Immune getting a very, very unfortunate or fortunate just injection of luck straight into their veins. Dare to Care now reconnecting. They could have had Prime, but that's going to burn through most of Primal Fang Tooth buff at this point, having to read the team. They're going straight to the Prime, just doing what they can to use that Primal damage and get right on top of it. Teams now collapsing in as they're realizing this is very well the last team fight of the game. And we are seeing that Prime being burned straight through TJ. Immune not there to answer it just yet. Primal Fang has dropped off. They can go in now or never. They they are not going yeah. to do it at all. Sit on the sidelines and watch instead. My lord. So for that one there, at least, you know, just, I keep saying it, just not like that. You know, it's so, it's such a shame uh, that Dare has been hit by the DC, but thankfully it looks like, um, possibly, I don't know. I think we're just trying to reconnect into this one, but uh it's going to be tough. And actually, you know, for Team Immune, they do let the All Prime go. They don't decide to contest it, at least here. So it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen because, you know, Royalty. Thankfully, though, that, you know, Glass Half Full, Glass Half Full, North is worth about five players in of himself. So, in fact, it's only uh, a nine versus five at this point because of how far North is ahead, how many stacks that you have got as well. And we're seeing just more match resist coming out of North. Uh, well, no, he's actually going to Tainted Guard. I believe he might finish the game off with Tainted Bastion if the game actually does go that far. So I think at this point, bringing up Dare's the... back. Yeah, it's back. Yeah, it looks like Dare's back. He's in the mid lane and about to siege that in him. So yeah, he's back. Oh yeah, he was back for the last fight when they were taking Prime. That's why I was saying um, Immune should have just absolutely floored it onto it and they might as well take the objective. However, they're going to dash forward. There's the big ultimate from Entomy followed up by the Shield Slam on Ooh, the good combo. Steel. They are going to get a kill. It's going to be Bellica going down. Seismic mm. out of the fight now. Power play in favor of Team Immune, even though Royalty still has the TV or Prime buff. They're just able to just take down one inhibitor. They're working on the one across the map at this point. Neft is there. He's North is in trouble. Damage. North is finally in a bit of trouble as he's taking a whole lot of damage. Six jumping up, throwing the rock out, not going to secure anything. And it's going to be 
royalty, I believe, looking to just apply more pressure. They have yeah. time. They're gonna yeah, even well even it. though losing the Bellica, like North just still is such a problem there. They actually nearly take him down as well. But you can see the health regen coming out from the old prime buff and uh, royalty just have to accept uh, the one in hip going down. I don't think they were able to take down the, the duo lane in hip. They only take the right hand side down. But yeah, Team Immune at least gets in the prime off one member and they're going to have to get as much farm as they can, but they can't. They can't go too far into the jungle because still members are still down, but Roar Twice is going to look and find North in his jungle. And that's going to be North and Roar Twice boxing it out. North four levels ahead of the enemy steal. Absolute insanity as it's taking three of them. Just oh, to do Neff, though. Neff. Neff, but Neff following up Neff. with the ultimate by Ray as he's going to get oh, the blink. They're going Ooh. to miss the long arm of the law from the Murdoch on the North. The raid boss still stands, and it's Ray who's going to pay the price on them now re-overextending. They were able to take Dare to Care out with the nice duo combo of the Decker and the Murdoch, but however, oh at the end of the day, didn't empty, empty in more trouble going into the true steal, but Pablo is just not going to care about that one. Just two shots and is able to find the pick onto empty once more. Oh, by the way, Jack, North was down to so little HP. And that's the regen for you. Look, it's back to full HP. Well, half HP, but no, let's face it. It's basically full HP for everyone else apart from this Severog with how many stacks that uh, North is sitting on here at least. But this is going to be a novel, another primal fang tube going their way unless Raw Twice can find something at least. But with the numbers disadvantage, that would have been a one-way trip, my friends. And they're going to just let it go. Every single one of those bars is 200 health. And right now we're looking at North. He's sitting on a nice fat 4,600 health in his pool. That's not even counting the resistances. That's just what you have to chew through before you even actually, you know, manage to get to kill him. So you're, you're never going to. That was yeah. the closest chance they were going to get, especially with how North is building right now. He's got himself a Tainted Guard. He's got a Frost Guard, frost guard to lower the attack speed. And then just an absolute... Mm. buttload of magic resistance <laughs> built into his kit the world breaker is there too to just amp the damage that tainted guard is going to be doing and it's going to also amp the damage of the flux matrix passive as well yeah north i think north has probably got more hp than most neutral objectives in this game like that, that's like what we're dealing with here at least, but uh, you know, there's still signs of life on Team Immune. 35 minutes, you know, members starting to hit relatively relative full build, as you say. Tang's still got a couple of levels to hit uh, level 18 for now, but the core hasn't been damaged. The base still stands for now, but MT though on the left hand side is in once again another bit of problem with Pablo, and MT loses out once again. He keeps on running him down, trying to force the 1v1s. It hasn't worked for 35 minutes, so why not try again? We are seeing the we are seeing Team Royalty take advantage of the pick they just got with Empty overextending, maybe a little tilted. The Neft is gone as well. And Neft is now going in, and he dies as well. So it is Royalty's game to finish and push. They have Primal Fang here on the buff. Not no super minions, but they're able to just you know burn through that tower. Roar twice bringing down the shield, the, the steel wall. And I think this is this is up. it, Jack. That is a big is ultimate it. coming out of Roar twice as he's going to go down under his own tower with six taking the aggro. They're burning through the mid lane inhibitor once again. Pablo going Ooh, down okay. tang, and they are going to finish cleaning up team immune. The last one alive is the decker. She's going to do what she can to clear as much of the wave as possible. However, Ray is not the man you need to be clearing these waves. He goes down as well. And that is Royalty picking up the set, moving on to the finals. Two to one. That is the wow. game. N.A. Supremacy. Sorry, well, TJ. It I like Team Immune. Tang and them are great guys. I, I, I would like to say, yeah, I mean, you've got to keep it a bit fair, right? You know, it can't be EU dominant. Got to get the competition up. You know, oh, Immune wow. have been just so far ahead of other uh -huh. teams. And, you know, uh -huh. for this one, it's it's not <laughs> Team Immune going down. It's teams coming up. It's NA really showing up as well. 
um huge commiserations to immune as well i feel like i can go a little bit back into like my eu biases and stuff like oh, yeah. that and uh just like a, a final word on immune as well uh before obviously we talk about royalty but uh you know um uh, the desk did mention it as well that this was going to be uh raw twice's last dance with team Mew. we with Team Immune, he's taken a short hiatus. He won't be back until about season three. Uh, there is some more details on his Twitter here, but um, that's going to be a, a bit of pill to swallow. I know they would have loved to have uh, gone back into the finals, but they were beaten and they were beaten well. Royalty, incredible, absolutely incredible predecessor coming <clears throat> out from them. And, uh, you know, probably one of the best sets we've had i know the immune professors uh set that you were alluding to uh, a couple of months ago that's got to be up there to contest yep. that as well because that yeah, had definitely. everything and uh you know what a time but royalty huge huge congratulations if there was any team to take down immune you know what i'm quite happy it was them we are seeing so just a stat retrack um there was only a 50 cs difference throughout the entire game at most we ended the game yeah. um neft and immune had uh, just under 1100 CS, and then we saw Team Royalty at 1155. That close of a game. However, throughout the entire game, we did not see a single piece of magic penetration come through until the end of the game. Tang bought um, the tier two part for Caustica at the very end as his last item. Hmm. And that's like as four magic damage members of their team like they couldn't get through it six had a curious he eventually had a, had a void helm too when you have four ability based heroes or magic damage based heroes you're not going to see it like you're just you can't do the damage you need that early pen the combustion's not going to be good enough and they had combustion on dare and size uh they had combustion no they didn't even have that their damage um mitigation would have been at most the tainted magic uh or the tainted scepter coming out of tang for any sort of anti-heal against um six and north but mm, you didn't see I, pain outside of that yeah it's, it's definitely going to be one for the vod review like i i've i've had i've had very limited interactions with yeah. uh, the team immune squad but i know how dedicated they are this game is going this entire set is going to be picked apart minute by minute second by second i will say it here and i will put my name on it as well but the team immune will be back i am sure but for now of course uh royalty again they advance to the grand finals and uh yeah. honestly like I'm running out of superlatives, really, for, for what I just saw. Uh, it's quite a, an awkward trait to have as a caster to be speechless, but that's kind of what's uh, happening now. So just what a set. What a set. So royalty one shot closer at that $750 first place prize pool. If they didn't even get there, they still, you know, get a nice $250 uh, to, you know, compensate for that second place. However, that's the real win. They were the ones able to take down the current champions. And as you're saying... It's not immune doing bad. It's other teams stepping up and yeah. getting better. And that's what we need to see in the community. When you have more than one team able to compete for first place, that's what keeps it interesting. And that's what allows our community to grow. When other people see that, see those players and they go, you know what? I can take them down. I'm, I'm that good. I will beat them. And that just helps grow the competitive scene as much as possible. Uh, we're going to go to break here in just a second, guys. Thank you for tuning in. If you have a Prime sub available, please hand it over, you know, toss it over. Just gift us that Prime sub. All proceeds go straight back into the PCC. The players see it. It helps build the broadcast. You know, we're very, very appreciative of it, as well as a follow. If you don't have your Prime sub right now, a follow is also appreciated. But we're going to go back to the desk in just a second. Thank you for tuning in. That was Royalty beating out Immune 2-1 to one in one of the best sets of Paragon or Predecessor. I need to get used to Predecessor. <laughs> so I, I said Paragon for so many years. One of the best sets of Predecessor you'll ever see. We'll be back in just a second. 